So, you guys can't decide whether you want to sell on eBay or Amazon, you want to do private label or retail arbitrage, we're going to help you out with that. You're going to explore. Selling on Amazon has absolutely changed our lives. You want to know something? We're going to help you guys get there too. All these people are talking about wanting to sell you a lifestyle. We're here to sell you a life. All right, guys, if you're new, welcome to the channel. You know, I'm the Dropship Terminator, me and my partner, the Dan of Steel. We talk all about that Amazon life, all about e-commerce and Shopify and all types of goodness, you know, just to drop the knowledge on you. If that sounds good. Make sure you guys subscribe, click the notification bell, get into the, one of the free Facebook groups below, you know, shameless plug. For all you regulars though, man, you know what time it is. Let's go ahead, let's get right into it. So, you guys, are looking to sell on eBay, you guys are looking to sell on Amazon, but you guys aren't really sure. eBay drop shipping seems real lucrative, Amazon drop shipping seems real lucrative, but you're not sure. Gosh, there's so many decisions, what should you do? Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Let's get down into it. eBay versus Amazon drop shipping, guys. Now it's gonna depend on what style you do, uh, which will dictate what platform is going to be best for you. You gotta think about it. Do you want sustainability or do you want quick money? Do you just wanna get paid? You know, you, you got some bills to pay, you know, within the next few months, some medical bills, you're just trying to pay your rent for the next year or so, whatever. That's that's gonna be something that uh, that you really gotta think about, that you gotta take into account when you're deciding what platform and what form of drop shipping to do. Now, eBay, you guys, if you're new, you don't know, but for you guys that have been here for a while, you know we like to rag on the eBay sellers, right? You know we like to give them a hard time, but hey man, get it how you get it. It is what it is, guys. Like we just, we you know, we mess with you. A lot of our friends actually sell on eBay and they make a lot of money doing it. You know, we just like to give you guys a hard time. That's all. Now, eBay has a ton of benefits to it, okay? I'll be the first one to admit. I sold on eBay for like six months. For me, it was not something that I wanted to do, but I can tell you for a fact, it is way easier to get up and running on eBay than it is on Amazon, by far, okay? That's hands down, bar none. You can have an eBay account up and running like that. I mean, quick and easy. You don't have to do like all the crazy verification stuff that Amazon asks you about. Super, super easy, guys. And with eBay retail arbitrage drop shipping, it's a straight up cash flow business. Like it's all cash flow. Quick, quick, quick and easy. Money coming in, money going out, money coming in, money going out. It's cash flow, all about that cash flow, guys. That's if you're looking for cash flow real quick, that's what it's about. eBay drop shipping will definitely get you that. End of discussion. There's no way around it. I, I'm not even gonna deny it. It's the lowest barrier to entry too, so it doesn't take a lot of skill. All right. There's so much software and so many VAs out there. You could literally just push button mission complete. And that's what a lot of people do because it doesn't require much skill. All right. At this stage, eBay retail arbitrage dropshipping has been mastered. There's some nuances that you have to know, but for the most part, software do most of the work for you. Now, there's a lot, like I said, there's lots of uh, software out there. So there's tons of uh, opportunities for automation. Uh, it's fantastic for the people that are really just trying to get that cash flow going, that may have hit a rough spot, they don't know what they want to do, they're not making a ton of money at their day jobs, and they're trying to supplement their income. You know, eBay is perfect for them. Now, what about the cons of selling on eBay, all right? Now, since it is the lowest barrier to entry, there's tons of competition, all right? There's tons of competition. There's more sellers on eBay than there are probably buyers at this stage, all right? There's tons and tons of sellers on eBay. The competition is very fierce. You have to be, uh, you know, a pretty crafty seller or you're gonna be relying on promoted listings, you know, all types of little, you know, little tricks to stay ahead of the game, all right? Definitely gonna have to work your butts off for it. You have to. There's no way around it. You're gonna have to work to get that money. It's not gonna be, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, put some listings up and hope for the best. You guys are really gonna have to cultivate your skill set, all right? Now, the profit margins are generally lower with the eBay retail arbitrage. And, and that's that's a fact. It is a known fact. I'm not saying that it's always gonna be super low. There will be some products that have pretty healthy margins, like 15 to 20 percent, but the overwhelming majority of the products that you sell uh, will be anywhere from like five to 10 percent on the front end. That is a known fact. There is no disputing it. Anyone can say, oh, you know, my profit margins are like 20 percent and blah, 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 blah. Bro, like on like one or two items, all right? Like, let's just, let's keep it, let's keep it 100. Let's keep it a buck. And you're going to be selling much bigger items to get those profit margins. And I like, I generally don't deal with those unless it's, you know, private label FBA on Amazon, uh, doing big, big items. 
um, because you know the propensity for uh, return is huge you know let's say you sell a grill for $369 and they return it you better have that $369 and eBay just changed the rules up so it's against their terms of service now you know retail arbitrage is against the terms of service people are still doing it so you can kind of take that with a grain of salt but they did come out and finally admit that they are hitting promoted listings so you'll see these people with their grass and they'll be like oh look at this you know my promoted listings are doing so well I'm getting impressions and then it'll poof, fall off a cliff all right and that's because eBay does not want people doing this you know if they catch you they're probably gonna you know hit your promoted listings you're not gonna make as much money as you should and your account gets flagged you know plain and simple that's just what it is and you know you have to circumvent the system now for me that's not something I necessarily want to do you know I don't want to have to come up with all these different methods in order to make money and try to you know backdoor stuff and oh let's do manual eBay drop shipping which isn't really manual these days and all types of stuff like that's just not for me for you it may work for you though it may work for you um but for me this is not something I want to do because I'm in I'm in a different situation than a lot of people and we'll get into that on why I chose uh, the, the path of greater resistance. All right, let's get into Amazon. So the benefits of selling on Amazon are just, they're great, absolutely great, at least in my opinion. Now I'm obviously biased because I'm an Amazon seller. I've been an Amazon seller for over four years. Absolutely love it. Um, so there's more buyers than there are sellers on Amazon. Okay, by far in the discussion, there's no, no uh, questions about it. That's just the way it is. The margins are typically higher, even with retail arbitrage. Now, granted, you're gonna have to do all these different types of things, but uh, with private label drop shipping, the margins are much higher. I tried the whole private label drop shipping on eBay. The margins were much slimmer because the sellers were, I just could not match their pricing. They were making all their money on the back end, and I'm not one that wants to make all my money on the back end with my Platinum Amex, okay? I just don't. I'm just not that kind of dude. I, I don't want to have to rely on rebates and gift cards, discounted gift cards and cash and uh, cashback credit cards to make any type of money. In my opinion, it's stupid. It's a very stupid way to live. You know, the opportunity for brand building is there. All right. So we have a bunch of, you know, a bunch of private label FBA brands at this point. And they started off as drop ship items. Now, some of them, they were just straight up, you know, private label FBA from the beginning. But for the most part, they were drop ship items that did really well. And then we got those converted over to FBA because it just made more sense. We could get them at a cheaper cost and sell more of them because now they have prime shipping. All right. It's amazing. And then, of course, you know, uh, you can eventually use Amazon's fulfillment services, which is FBA, which is something you would not be doing with eBay. This is fantastic, guys. You'll be sending your products into an Amazon warehouse. Amazon picks them, packages, and sends them off, handles all the customer service. There is nothing better than that. FBA is freaking awesome. Yes, the fees go up slightly. It is fantastic. It's one of the best things about selling on Amazon. One of the best things, if not the best thing about selling on Amazon. And think about it, guys. Amazon accounts for, it accounted for over 50% of US e-commerce sales last year. That's a huge deal, 50%. I mean, this juggernaut put JCPenney out of sale. JCPenney had been in business for over 100 and something odd years. Amazon came and put them out of business. This is gonna be the platform moving forward, period. All right, eBay is doing well, but Amazon is going to be the future. It is the now and it's definitely gonna be the future. Don't believe me? Guess what? Everything runs on Amazon Web Services, including Netflix. Think about it. That's how big they are, okay? But it is not all gravy, baby. Not all gravy. And it's not all peaches and roses and unicorns and rainbows. It is, it, they will kick you in the taint and you will get kicked off the platform. It's not fun. There's a lot of, a lot more harsher penalties for sell, for breaking the rules on Amazon, okay? Like I said, with retail arbitrage, it's against the terms of service. And if you're caught, you know, the penalties are not near as fun. You guys will be using stealth accounts and stuff. I mean, Amazon doesn't care. There's a bunch of canned responses. eBay at least care somewhat they care about their sellers to a certain extent like you can reach a real human being to talk about your account with amazon they don't give a damn they will send you a canned response through email you'll send them a plan of action to get unsuspended and they'll be like yeah whatever big middle finger and they'll just keep sending the same response over and over and over and over and over it'll be like a hamster wheel guys and on top of that they will hold your money all right they will hold that mess hostage for 90 days if you get suspended all right, depending on what the suspension is for, if you get hit with an IP infringement suspension, that 90 days can become indefinite. So keep that in mind. Also, Amazon owns the customer. You know, people shop on Amazon. They don't necessarily shop at your store. Now with the branded store, you know, when you're trademarking, you get brand, uh, registered brand status, that's completely different to a certain extent. And you can use autoresponders to, um, to get those customers, uh, get that customer information and then push them off to another store. It's kind of like mission critical. Uh, the baby carrier company they have a store on amazon and they have a store off of amazon and they kind of flow those customers together you know they have a nice autoresponder sequence 
that's fantastic. I, I think they do a great job with it, but that's just me. Uh, also, the payments take longer, guys. The payments do take longer. You get paid every two weeks, unless you use a service like Payability. Now, we use Payability. We absolutely love them. We're, you know, I'm, at this stage, we don't have to use them, but we're loyal to that company, all right? And there's something to be said for loyalty. They've never treated us you know, poorly. They've always done right by us. And for all intents and purposes, we would use them to the day that we die, to the day we no longer sell on Amazon. So big shout out to Payability. We love you guys. Um, yeah, and product research is definitely more time consuming and a little bit more difficult. Now there is software like AMZ Scout Pro, which we know and love. And that's the only product research software I will be using for the foreseeable future. Uh, it, it works out great, you know, for, if you know what you're doing. It, it is a very slow, cumbersome process. If you're getting into FBA, you do kind of have to be spot on. You know, you can't just guess and hope and keep your fingers crossed that you have a good product. You really do have to make sure that you do your product research right and you make sure your keywords are done properly, all types of things. So it, it does take a little bit more time. It's, it's quite a bit more consuming and it's not something that I, I recommend for the faint of heart. For people that are trying to do things quickly, this is not the method. You know, private label drop shipping or private label FBA definitely is not something that you should uh, consider if you guys are just trying to get a cash grab going. And if you're doing uh, RA, you're gonna be, you know, retail arbitrage on, uh, on Amazon. You're gonna be relying on the buy box. Now, uh, you're going to be competing against other sellers on the same listing and the buy box is going to rotate between you guys. You'll probably even share the buy box at some point and it's going to be, you know, based almost solely on price on who can outmaneuver the next person. And heaven forbid if Amazon is on that listing, because in some cases Amazon will cold that listing, they'll go through, they'll scan it and then they'll hit you with, um, with an invoice verification. And if you cannot verify, uh, you'll get suspended. So, you know, you kind of have to be mindful of that. So guys, like, you know, it's, like I said, it's not all peaches and roses and, and sometimes, you know, things happen. But um, the reason why, you know, ultimately I ended up selling on Amazon instead of eBay, even though back then, you know, years ago, eBay was fairly decent. The margins were not as high as Amazon, but they were a little bit higher than they are today. Um, it's just because of the opportunity to build a brand. Okay, nobody wants to buy a retail arbitrage store. You know, nobody wants to buy an eBay, eBay retail arbitrage store for what it's worth. Um, if you guys are doing tons and tons of money, uh, you guys are doing like $100,000 in profit, most people aren't going to want to buy that, all right? Doesn't matter. Same thing with a retail arbitrage store on Amazon, but people will buy private label stores all the time. That's what people are looking for. And for me, I knew I wanted to build a long-term sustainable business because I knew I wanted to sell that business down the line and use it as an influx of capital to get into something else. All right, so for me, retail arbitrage on eBay was not the right thing because it was more of a cash grab and I didn't necessarily need that at the time. I've been in e-commerce, you know, for, well, at this point, the shop is going on 10 years, uh, 10 years, roughly. I, you know, so I've been in the e-commerce space for quite some time. You know, I, I have a physical business and um, that website, you know, that we have is, is garbage. It needs to be redone. You know, we did it forever ago and never updated it. But because we built an actual brand, um, you know, it does 10 to 20,000 in revenue every single month like clockwork, you know, and it's, it's something that we're very very proud of um, and me and Dan you guys know we're both engineers we still have our, our day jobs you know we have six-figure careers that we built you know over the course of, of all these years you know we, we did this you know long before you know Amazon even came about guys so you have to remember that we're in a unique situation and the situation that you may not be in so for me when I started you know selling I'm like I'm not getting out of bed for five percent profit margins I'm just not doing it it's too much of a headache think about it you know, you, so let's say you sell $100,000 on eBay. And remember, you guys have to be tax exempt when you're doing retail arbitrage, because you're not gonna make any money if you're not tax exempt, because you know, you guys are gonna be paying too much in taxes. So you'll, your profit margin drops substantially. And that's not something I wanted. You know, that's the reason I got out the military. I didn't want my money dictated by where I lived. And that's kind of what happens with retail arbitrage. Your money's dictated by all these different tips and tricks and all these little things that you guys have to do. And for me, that just wasn't what I wanted. And I'm not saying it's not right for you. It could be very right for you. And in, in some cases, it is the perfect thing for you, especially if you guys are looking for a cash flow business. eBay is the perfect thing for someone who is getting started in the e-commerce space, who doesn't have a lot of experience and who doesn't have a lot of money. For someone who's a little bit more seasoned or who wants to build something more sustainable, um, you know, getting in a private label, whether that's drop shipping or FBA on Amazon, is probably the way to go. That was, for me, that's what it was. And you know, for us, you know, when we deal with our like automation clients, there it's it's a no-brainer. We do not focus on on eBay whatsoever because that is not our platform of choice. We strictly deal with, with private label, uh, drop shipping, FBA, and, and wholesaling for our, our done for you clients, period, in the discussion. That's mainly because there's an expectation, right? There's an expectation of income. And, you know, for the people who get into this space, you kind of have to decide what you're looking for. 
Um, like I said before, sustainability or quick money. If you guys are looking for quick money, definitely go the eBay route, uh, eBay retail, retail arbitrage. If you guys are looking for something more sustainable to build a brand and ultimately maybe pass that off and sell it, uh, Amazon is the way to go. You can eventually convert your Amazon following to your own following, uh, you know, through having your, your own store, you know, having your own, um, you know, storefront off of, off of Amazon, kind of like mission critical baby carriage. You guys should definitely check them out because they do things the right way. I think they have a very good setup, you know, and, and it works out great for them. You know, they make a, a, a whole lot of money because people keep having babies and, you know, dads like myself still want to be cool, even though we have kids and, uh, you know, it just looks good, man. I just, it's military gear, you know, we got Molly straps and everything else. So um, with that being said, guys, you know, you, you're going to have to decide on what's right for you. You know, hopefully that enlightens you a little bit. You know, I still recommend eBay for people that are starting off. You know, the profit margins are not going to be all that great, but you can make a lot of money very quickly and you can use it to get into something else, especially if you guys are in a bind and you have like car repairs or daycare to pay or whatever. You're just looking to supplement your income. If you're looking to supplement your income, eBay is definitely the way to go. If you're looking to build a long-term brand, a long-term successful brand, then Amazon is gonna be more for you. So remember that guys. Um, so yeah, hopefully that enlightened you a little bit. You enjoyed it. Uh, if you're still around, make sure you guys click the subscribe button, you know, button, get the little notification bell, get into the free Facebook groups below. If you have anything that you wanna talk about, drop it in the comments. You know, we'll do a video on it or we'll do a live in one of the Facebook groups, whatever. If there's anything that you wanna know, please, please, please reach out to us. You guys know we read each and every comment. By the way, yo, to the troll that said, um, all I do is steroids and all that stuff. Yo, I love, love you kind of guys. So if you guys didn't know, there's a video. Uh, I think he, he commented on a video about how, you know, I'm able to do 10K every single month without any type of ad spend with the, uh, the shop website. So yeah, check that dude out. It's weird. It's like, because I go to the gym, I'm magically on steroids. Come on, bro. Just start eating right and lifting and you'll be just fine. Quit being such a weenie. And, you know, never mind the fact I've been lifting for years and, you know, know a little bit about nutrition, I guess. But yeah, whatever. That being said, man, I'm out. Be safe. Be smart. Don't go out there and have all types of crotch goblins. Mm -hmm.